beetle lovers, we are back in the beetle breeding process of Coriatus regius. It's the day 36 after I got them from uh, England. Now all of them should have made it to L3 stage, but I'm not very sure. Last week was a problem for the larvas because temperatures dropped in Switzerland. I had to bring them to another place, so from 30 degrees during the day in the beginning it went down to 22 degrees so that's too low for them it stopped uh, their activities and then I had to see what happened so we are now one week later it was probably a strange week for the lawyers because they were on the, on the brink to the L3 stage so that's also a fragile phase let's see what we find uh, here I hope we did we haven't lose, lost some of them. But as you can see also here on the on the paper from 11th till today, 21st, we had uh, some pellets fed but some were removed, so this is not really a big progress. Also if you look here uh, on the top, there is nothing touched. I do not see a tunnel also here of the larva, so actually I don't know what she's doing at the moment. Um, I, I mean, we could theoretically have a look and see what happened here, whether she's still living, and then we can have an idea what uh, what the problem is of this uh, larva, um, or what our problem is, that we are not patient enough to just wait and see when she's coming up to the surface. Uh, to start eating. Also from here, from the bottom and from the side, I do not see anything. So I would guess it, the better, it would be the better um, a solution if we find it in the mold to the L3 stage. So let's see what we find here. Yeah, look, here she is. It's living active now. It's L3 stage, but probably freshly L3. So it's not a, it's not an old, it's a fresh L3 stage. Larva, and she was on th on the upper part, uh, in the upper part of the substrate. Also, we see some uh, fecal pellets here, so probably she will start now uh, to eat and go on and go on um, with the eating of these uh, cat food pellets on the top of the substrate. So probably we have been a little bit too uh, impatient. Now, also we can check the humidity of the substrate seems to me good, not dripping wet, not too dry, so that's a, a difficult thing to judge. So we have our weight scale also here, so we can, if we have taken her out of the substrate, we can also have a look how how heavy she is now, to have an idea. So now she's 7.15, so normally they go up back a little bit, after they mold from L2 to L3, so from 8, 9 to 7, 8, that's okay, and then they start uh, eating again. So let's put her back here into the substrate, and of course, we can. you can also give her some flakes while on top if you really uh, want, you don't have to, but some people think, yeah, it's a problem with, with them, they should have some uh, flakes, although they don't need it. What they really need is the is the cat food pellet, so I can put them here on the... I uh, put four of them here. So I have removed three and now I add four. I have to write down this, of course, so that I have a good bookkeeping here. So I write down 21st minus three plus four. Now I write L37.1 gram. So I know what happened here in this box exactly. So let's go, move on to the next uh, to the next box. I hope that we see some that also already started eating now uh, with a tunnel. Yeah, let's like look for example here. It's very clear that they made a tunnel here. And what did we write? We put two pellets yesterday. So now we can and then we put eight pellets the day before. So let's so let's try and make some one, two, three, four, five, six this time and then we see tomorrow with whether she's really hungry and eats all of them or whether she leaves some uh, behind. So that's good. Next 
Now this looks not bad uh, here, let's have a look. Look, there are some nice tunnels, one, two, three here, but some of the pellets on top, they are untouched. So what I do, I just remove them here, take them out. Of course, sometimes there's a sand sticking to the mycelium of the mushroom that's coming out of this. Uh, it's not dangerous for the, for the animals, but it would be better that they just eat the, the whole pellet. So I put in six again. And then I write 21st minus six plus six. So the rest I took out from the other days. But I think this is already eating now in L3 stage, but I do not take out all of them now to check because I don't want to disturb them too often. What happened here? No pellets to see, but yesterday I added five pellets and they are not visible anymore, so they are eaten. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I add six here, close again, and we will see tomorrow whether she has eaten all of them in one day that's a lot it would be it would be 1.5 grams also here what happened I added eight pellets yesterday so now I don't see one of them but I see something moving you see that here you see that here on the side Well, let's see whether we can catch the moment when she is coming up to eat. So that would be nice to see. Because sometimes they do it when they... So I just have seen the substrate moving underneath the pellet here, but not at the moment. So probably she thinks it's a dangerous moment and she does not move anymore. They are very sensible to pressure, movement and so on. And as when they come up, as soon as something changes, like a vibration of the soil, they, they, go, uh, they go down. You can see this also with other larvas like Mechunorina, Polyphemus, or Torquata, Ugandensis and so on. So I think she's now not coming up because, uh, yeah, look, she's here actually um, so she's probably waiting till we leave her in peace here 21st how many did we put in? 1, 2, 6, ok so she must be hungry, yesterday she ate 8 pellets, that's 2 grams also here, we, no yesterday we have added 0 here but it's nothing to see on the surface, so everything that was there was eaten. So now we put five pellets on top here. So I am happy. I see that they are living and that they are actually eating. One problem I have to be aware of is that now when they are L3, they can make a gel break very easy because they now are getting strong and only this lid is probably not enough to prevent them from escaping from the uh, box. So next time I will have to fix that either by putting all the boxes in a bigger cage like this so when the, the larva falls down I can take up here or with rubber bands around. What happened here? One, I added only one yesterday but there were some other on top so you see this tunnel here so she's actively looking for something to eat so I put 12 or 5 pellets here and then we come back to see in the cellar where they are now it's 26 degrees so that's the, a good temperature for them now and I think that now they started to be active again so what's happened here uh, only added one but there's a tunnel visible here also so she's active so let's put five in here and see tomorrow whether she has really big hunger or not so 21st five and then we go to the next um, boxes there with, uh, with a little bit another system and for and especially to the very small one that we found last time I've seen a comment here 
if you can go down to the comment list you will see somebody said go a little L2 you make it uh, because of course if, if a larva is uh, behind the others mostly that's a sign that she's not gonna make it but let's see what we did yesterday I, I added no pellet here but I see a tunnel you see that here I see a tunnel coming up so she probably wants to eat something so I take out this pellet here and put a new one on the top or two or three and then I add some water so she's still living and probably next time when we have when we see that she's eating something we can also uh, check whether she's uh, going to L3 stage also because that's the phase she has to handle it looks a beautiful big tunnel here and she has eaten five pellets since yesterday so I add six now to see whether she's even more hungry and then we can go up one pellet a day the more she eats so you can check every day she has eaten all she has eaten nothing and you can add more or less of the pellet so also here Last time, yesterday, I, need, I added zero, but today I see that two big tunnels here. So I will put two, four, six, seven, eight here because the day before I added nine and she's eaten all of them. Twenty-eight, eight. So that's a job now to see. Now here's zero. Last time zero and the, and the rotten pellet on the top, but I see some signs that she's uh, making tunnels so let's be patient here just add one or two um, of the foot pellets to see whether she's eating and we will see tomorrow so that's minus three plus three so it's good that you write down what you do so you can really check ne ne next time so here I think I added six, no, six pellets, but uh, one, two, they are not eating all of them, and I don't see a tunnel here also, but it was a, it was an L2 when we put it into this box uh, ten days ago, so could be now that she's in L3 stage or going towards L3 stage, then they stop tunneling, they just wait till they finish their molt and then they come up afterwards so that's what we will do we will just wait and let her there and see next time when she starts eating here a box where i put five pellets in you everything eaten nothing to see so this is probably a hungry larva we put in two four six seven seven here and tomorrow we will see what she's doing if we see the biggest one, we eat the most, we just take it out to show you uh, how a big regius looks now in my breeding project here. I think the biggest are in the last box that's coming up here. So this is the, the box, I think, with the, here, not this one, she has eaten nothing. Probably also this one is in the face to mold because last time it was an L2 stage, it was not yet L3. So I just add some pellets on the top to see whether she's um, becoming active or not. Here I added six pellets last time. Everything eaten, the larva is down here. You can see her from top, you can see her here from top of the yeah I think it, if it, we must make it like that you can see her sitting here down in the under the tunnel yeah now it's moving also you can see it here okay so that's the way they wait till we put some new food on the top so that they can start eating and that's what exactly what we're giving them food so that they can grow and become big and nice Boreatus regius larvas. So here we write 21 plus 6. And the next box here, this I gave 8 last time. Look, it's nothing here. And another 8 and another 3 the days before. So this was also uh, already a pretty big one. This we could 
uh, just check to give you an idea how big they are now. Oh, here it is. It was sitting on the on the bottom of the box waiting, uh, and now they can be very um, fast and also aggressive at this moment because now this is a pretty big larva now. It's not a small one, um, and we will find out <coughs> how much she is on the weight scale. The so last time she was around ten. Now she is 15.5, 15.5 grams. So she, she had a, she added some weight here. That's normal because she eats also a lot. And then I, we just put all the material back because this is the material that she was living in. Sometimes they just take down the pellet into the substrate and then they wait till they are soft and then they start eating later but um, then I just present her, her own old substrate and if you want you can put some flake soil on top or, and of course a lot of pellets because she was eating and now we do two, 10 huh? this time we make 10 for this nice larva and let's see whether she can eat 2.5 grams in a day. Well, that would be a lot, huh? And in a day. 2.5 grams to eat in a day. Now this is what? Here I gave 6, 9 and 8. Must be a big one too. So, so here I don't see yeah, The tunnel is over there. But she has eaten everything. So also here we need 6 or 7 pellets. To, uh, Seven now because she has eaten all of them. So, oh, I'm very happy. There's no one, not one lost until now. Eight on the, I put eight here. No, not one to see. Now so we can add ten. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And tomorrow we will see how much she has eaten. 10. So that's a lot of over 10. You can go over 10 if they are really hungry. And now she's moving down here. You see the larva. It's shaking here. Probably if we put something in there. Sometimes that's what Benjamin asked me. Do, do a video where you can see how they eat, how they take the pellets from the from the top, if I have some time, I will do some, try something with my GoPro camera uh, to show you, or with the macro object to, to show you how they come up. They take the pellet and then they go down again. Two for the twelve. So I added twelve here. That's also a lot. I think tomorrow she will have left some. So that's it for the moment. Stay tuned if you are interested in this breeding project. I'm very happy now. I've seen that all of the larvas are still living on this fragile, um, how do you say, um, transition from L2 to the L3 stage of Coriolis Regius. Thanks for watching.